Welcome and thank you for your interest in engineering at Monash University. My name is Tony and I'll provide a brief overview of our engineering degrees. Before we begin, I would like to acknowledge the people of the Kulin Nations on whose land Monash is located. I pay my respects to the elders, past, present and emerging. So what is engineering and what do engineers do? Engineering is exciting. It's the artificial heart, it's the bionic limbs, it's the electric car, it's the city skyline, it's space exploration, it's artificial intelligence, but it's so much more. Engineers use science and mathematics to design solutions that work for people, ensuring that they are safe, they are ethical, reliable, and beautiful. Engineers fundamentally solve problems that deliver solutions to improve our lives. Engineers are leaders in human advancement and are addressing the grand challenges and sustainable development goals for the 21st century. These challenges are identified by the United Nations and engineering organisations from around the world. Some areas include transportation, energy, sustainability and biomedical applications. Over the past 12 months, our world-renowned engineers at Monash have been working on these key problems. For example, we created the optical chip that recorded the fastest internet in the world. We developed membranes that quickly and cheaply purified water. We created blood tests that can identify COVID-19 in just 20 minutes. We also identified the safe distance between cyclists and other vehicles, and we campaigned to have this distance enshrined in Australian law. As you can see, engineers make change and we need more engineers within the world. But what does it take to be an engineer? Engineering requires a diverse range of people and skill beyond maths and science. Aspects such as empathy, teamwork, communication and leadership are all important in developing a well-rounded engineer. Engineers should also have the curiosity and courage to improve society to overcome current limitations and to push humanity towards a sustainable future. Engineering can truly be a rewarding career. So what can you study as an engineering student at Monash? We offer 10 undergraduate engineering specialisations ranging from the traditional disciplines such as electrical, civil and mechanical engineering to some of our newer disciplines such as environmental, robotics and mechatronics and our brand new biomedical engineering degree. Our common first year is designed to provide students with an engineering fundamental concepts through various disciplines, including chemical, civil, electrical, materials, and mechanical engineering. This ensures that students are well informed and confident when deciding on their specialization before entering their second year. All of our undergraduate degrees are awarded with honors and take four years to complete. Students have the option to study for five years to complete a double degree or an undergraduate degree plus a master's degree. Students can expand on their current skill sets and employability based on their interest by undertaking an engineering minor throughout their degree. For example, it is possible to major in aerospace engineering while minoring in artificial intelligence. Students may improve their employability by taking one of the 40 plus double degree combinations that we offer. Students can combine their engineering studies with something complementary such as science or commerce, or they can simultaneously pursue a passion area such as art or design. Double degrees are a popular option with around 55% of our students taking up a double degree. There are several specializations that offer the accelerated master's program, which allows students to complete an undergraduate and master's degree within five years. This is for high achieving students. There are generous scholarships available. We have a brand new one year master of engineering that lets you delve deeper into your undergraduate engineering specialization and further develop your professional skills. We also have another pathway, which is the master of professional engineering offered in the two and three year versions. The two year version is catered for students with a non-accredited engineering degree, while the three year version is catered for students with a degree in another STEM field, such as science or mathematics, to qualify as an engineer. 
There is a requirement of 420 hours of continuous professional development to ensure that our students are well prepared for the engineering workforce. Your course will provide you with opportunities to develop and practice professional skills such as teamwork, communication and ethical conduct. The development of these skills can also be obtained from non-engineering activities such as your part-time job or volunteering work. We have a cooperative education program which allows students to undertake a three, six or 12 month work placement with a range of industries working on projects such as the level removal crossing around Melbourne, Bigger Cheese, Mitsubishi, United Energy and Yarra Valley Water. It is great practice for the real world and provides perspective on the large engineering profession. Monash offers a number of opportunities to help students develop the necessary skills to become an employable graduate engineer. Examples include the Monash Industry Team Initiative, which brings together a multidisciplinary team of students from across the university um, to solve a real industry problem. The Engineering Leadership Program allows students to develop their leadership skills and connect with industry through seminars, interactive workshops, career planning and industry visits. Our overseas exchange agreements with 100 universities across the world allows our students to study abroad for a semester or a whole year. These programs all contribute towards your professional development. One of the most valuable experiences for students is the opportunity to get involved with a student team, club and society. Monash Engineering has the most student-led teams and clubs within Australia. There are around 30 of them and they all provide an amazing opportunity for students to collaborate, engage and apply classroom learning to practical projects. Many teams undertake competitions from around the world and have opportunities to connect with industry. An example here is Monash Unmanned Aerial Systems, which is a team that designs and builds drones for medical rescue. This is a great example of social and community benefits from the engineering innovation. Another example is Precious Plastic Monash, which is part of a global movement dedicated to tackling the plastic waste problem through their mission involving community, education and design. They have built a portable recycling machine to repurpose plastic waste into useful products such as pot plants, jewellery, art and even a functioning guitar. Another example is our world-class Monash Motorsport who are ranked first in the world for their combustion vehicle and third in the world for their electric vehicle. They are also the first Australian student team to have developed a driverless race car and enter it into a competition. Our last example is Nova Rover, which is a team that builds and designs Mars Rovers. They were the only Australian team to be invited to compete in the US University Rover Challenge. They also placed first in the inaugural Australian Rover Challenge in April this year. So what do you need to start your engineering degree at Monash? You'll need VCE English, specialist mathematics or mathematical methods, plus chemistry or physics. The ATAR this year was 87 for the Bachelor of Engineering with Honours, while most other degrees required 90 plus and the Accelerated Master's pathway required 94 plus. There are a range of merit and equity scholarships available to students, including Engineering Excellence, Women in Engineering, Indigenous Scholarship for Equity, as well as undergraduate and postgraduate scholarships. We have a range of programs that promote the engineering discipline to females who currently make up 25% of our cohort. Some examples include Monash Engineering Girls, the Monash Chapter of Robo Girls, which is a global organisation, and Female Engineers Monash, which connects students with other female engineers. The Australian Government predicts strong job growth within the engineering sector due to the important role that engineers play in addressing the grand challenges and the sustainability development goals. 83% of Monash engineering graduates secured full-time employment within four months of their graduation, and the median salary for a graduate engineer is $66,000.
This slide lists example positions and companies that our graduates are working within. One Monash graduate is working for Creature Technology Co, designing and creating creatures for the theme parks and arena spectaculars, such as Walking with the Dinosaurs and the King Kong Stage Show. This final slide illustrates some employers who partner with us, whether it be through the co-op program, research or graduate employment. Many of these companies are global, including Telstra, Tesla, Apple and Google. I hope that this presentation has provided useful information about our exciting engineering degrees. Thank you for your attention and we hope to see you at Monash.